Hello everyone, this is Leo, Program Manager from Azure Data Factory team. Today I'm going to show a new feature, Time to Leave, or we say TTL in Managed Virtual Network, which is not only applied to Azure Data Factory, but also to Synapse. If you are familiar with the Managed Virtual Network, you should know that Managed Virtual Network provides customers with a secure and manageable data integration solution. Since we announced the general availability in October last year, we have been seeing more and more customers using this feature in their production. With Managed Virtual Network, customers can provision the Azure Integration Runtime as part of a Managed Virtual Network and leverage private endpoints to securely connect to supported data stores. Data traffic goes through Azure private links, which provide secured connectivity to the data stores. In addition, it prevents data exfiltration to the public internet. But one limitation we have today is the queue time for activity execution is longer when using managed virtual network. It's technically because when a customer enables managed virtual network in a data factory, we will create a dedicated virtual network to this data factory, which means we cannot leverage existing reserved compute pool. Each time we need to provision a compute in this managed virtual network for activity execution, the provision takes around one or two minutes. In the worst case, if you have, for example, 100 small copy activities, the execution of each could be just several seconds, but before each copy activity execution, the queue time or compute provision time will take one or two minutes. It's not time and cost efficient. So in order to fix this limitation, we introduce TTL. Actually, we have different kinds of compute in integration runtime for different activities. So for different compute, we have different TTLs. The typical ones include the first one is for interactive authoring, which is used for like test connection, preview data. The second one is for copy activity. The third is for external and pipeline activity, as well as the last one is for data flow. Data flow has already had a TTL feature, which, which is not in today's scope. I will talk more about the other three. If we open the integration runtime, create or edit page, we can see under Manage Virtual Network tab, we have three TTLs for three kinds of compute. There are some small differences among them. For interactive authoring, we know that it's used in development phase. Data engineers use it to test connection, preview sample data. We rarely use it in production environments, so you can enable it when you develop pipeline or create link service, and the TTL period is longer. The default value is 6 minutes. The next TTL is for copy activity. Not like the uh, interactive authoring, copy TTL doesn't take effect immediately when you enable it. We only provision compute when you run the first copy activity, then reserve the compute and don't release it within TTL period. Also, you need to choose a DLU number uh, you want to reserve. Too big or too small may not fit your requirements. The last detail is for pipeline activity and the external activity. By default, it's enabled and you cannot disable it, but you can choose the TTL period. The default value is one hour. The last part I want to show is a quick demo to demonstrate the TTL feature. Let me take copy activity as an example. I have a pipeline and it contains three copy activities. You can ignore the logic of each activity. I just copy a small file from one folder to another folder in the same storage account. In order to same time, I don't want to run this pipeline now because the queue time will take 
several minutes. I just show two pipeline run results I just did. So let's go to the monitor page. We can see two pipeline run results. The first one is without TTL. So you can see each activity has one or two minutes queue time. So this is the first one. We have 43 seconds queue time. The second one, 55 seconds. The last one, 51. Okay. But in the second one, we this time we enable TTL in my integral runtime. You can see without uh, only the first uh, activity has a queue time. So you can see the first activity has one minute and one second queue time. But for the second one and the third one, you can see there's no TTL, uh, no, no queue time. Okay, that's all for this session. Thank you.